All right, guys, my most worn shoe for 2022, believe it or not, has been my Birkenstock Boston clogs. I wear it every single chance I get. Groceries, after the gym, to work, hanging out, literally everywhere. Can I wear my clogs to your family party? Uh, no. Fine. After so many wears, it's actually gotten to the point where my feet hurts within an hour. It wasn't until I saw a TikTok of the Doc Martin Carlson mules and I said, bruh, I'm not falling for this again. I'm gonna be an adult and save my money. And here we are reviewing these damn mules. All right, so first things first is the material of the shoe. The whole sandal is made out of soft EH suede moss back leather, which is a fancier way of saying classic leather with a smooth buttery to touch texture, similar to suede. And you also have the infamous yellow stitching from Doc Martens. You have a single buckle fastening towards the back or you could flip it to the front. So if you want to go into sport mode, you can, just saying. And the infamous PVC air cushion outsole. If you guys didn't know, Doc Martens are actually one of the shoe brands that are a little bit more sustainable focused. So PVC as in plastic. Yep, plastic. Now my personal thoughts of the shoe. I have three initial thoughts. The silhouette of the shoe is actually more slimmer than the Birkenstocks, which means it's less atrocious and less obnoxious. Yes, Birkenstocks are comfy, I get it, I agree, but you lose the aesthetic looks due to the wideness of the shoe, in my personal opinion. Secondly, I 200% doubted this mule wasn't going to be comfy because of the notoriousness of Doc Martin's comfortability -ness. And boy was I wrong. And the reason why I was wrong is because of the leather of Doc Martin's are usually the cause of comfortability levels, especially within the heel section of the shoe. Even with the slimmer silhouette, it's still considered chunky and modern because of the PVC material outsole, but it doesn't have the extended heel. So the whole outsole is flat, making the shoe feel more like a regular sandal. My idiotic ass trying to rush to do this video, but I forgot to add two things. One of them being that it doesn't feel as heavy as regular docks because of it being in the sandal form it does feel a little bit chunky. It has that chunky feeling, kind of like, you, you know, when you wear Air Forces, it's kind kind of heavy, but it isn't like Doc Martin heavy. That's the first thing. And the second thing is I saw a negative comment and it's a common question from people about these mules is that the strap supposedly falls off without a sock. I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, I'm, I'm a sock slash clog mule guy i wholeheartedly 200 percent wear my boston clogs with socks rarely do i ever wear it without socks unless i'm in and out and rushing but nonetheless 99.99 percent of the time i wear my clogs with socks so that shouldn't be a problem if you're like me back to the video Now, the cost of the shoe is a whopping $110, guys. More affordable than the Birkenstock clogs. As for sizing, I was actually very, very surprised. So, I'm a 7.5, and, and I got the Adrian Loafers 
and the 1461s in a size 7. So I decided to try it with a size 7 only to find out that you should size up in these shoes. So since it's whole sizes, I got a size 8. Now, I'm gonna give you a great analogy as to why you should size down. And basically, it'll make you look like your parent is using your younger siblings, smaller size chanclas and slippers, and tiptoeing to get something outside, whether that's groceries, mail, whatever. So with that in mind, guys, if your shoe size is a whole size, stick with it, stay true to size. But if you are in the half size range, size up to the nearest whole number. So now the million dollar question, are they worth it? From my initial thoughts and my initial wear and me trying it on in the store, I'm gonna flat out say my answer, no BS and say yes. And here are three reasons why. And the first reason is price. $110 for the Doc Martens versus $160 Birkenstocks, you can decide which you're more than willing to spend. And to me personally, it's an affordable clog. It doesn't look that bad. It feels comfortable and it's definitely a big competitor of the Birkenstocks. Reason number two is practicality. Now I love my Birkenstocks but there have been many situations where it wasn't really practical. One being, I can't run in them without pointing my toes up while running, but for the docks, I actually have the straps in the back that allows me to do that at a more affordable price. Secondly, I can't really wear the clogs with my outfits unless I'm dressing lazy casual. For me, I would like a nice clog that gives me more options with fits and this does that for me. And now for me, it's like, I feel like there's two spectrums of clogs and slippers, right? You have the ugly AF ones like Crocs and the fancy ones like our legacy. And for me, the Doc Martens is the in-between. And the last reason, reason number three is looks. In all honesty, I feel like these mules actually look better with the more slimmer silhouette. It still has that chunky silhouette which I can wear with wider pants, while at the same time, I actually had the option with the narrowness of the toe, allowing it to be much more work-friendly. Now with all of this in mind, I have only gotten the shoe for less than four hours, so take what you will with this review, but with that, how do you guys feel about these Doc Martens? Do you feel they're an even competitor with Birkenstocks? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you guys please like, comment, and subscribe. And with the newer silhouette models, there's only one way to find out and that's wearing it constantly. So for more day-to-day -day updates and BTS, follow Gram and uh, yeah, I'll give y'all weekly updates. Peace out.